it is tax time it is that time of the year in this video I'm going to show you how to do your taxes using TurboTax in six simple steps and stick around at the end of the video I'm going to share with you just how much a rideshare driver who made 65,000 in gross revenue uh, actually uh, pays in taxes hey everybody it is Jay Crater with the rideshare guy and look at me I am not in my car I am at my desk, I am in front of my MacBook Pro, and we're going to go uh, onto my computer here in a second, and I'm going to show you um, how to do your taxes using TurboTax. So let's jump right in, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. All right, let's get this show on the road. Step number one is gather your documents and gather your numbers. So the first place you're going to have to go is to uh, Uber and to Lyft. Now, of course, if you didn't drive for Lyft, you don't need to go to Lyft. Or if you didn't drive for Uber, don't go to Uber. I drove for both, so um, pretty easy for me. So here I am at the Uber website, and you just go, uh, the first page will take you here, and you just click on Tax Information. And you can scroll down. And 2019, those are the documents we want. We want the... Uh, 1099 miss miscellaneous if you have a 1099 K we want that I do not have that and then we also definitely want the yearly summary because that will give us a list of all the deductions we can take um, off of the revenue so that's how you get it from uber over here on Lyft this is the the home page you're gonna uh, get to once you log in and here it says tax information right there And boom, there are your documents. 1099K, I have a 1099 miscellaneous, and then the 2019 summary. All right, so download those documents. What do they look like? I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so this is from Uber. So this is the, uh, the summary, all right? And you see here in the summary, it's got expenses, Uber service, booking fee, airport fee, insurance, instant pay, reimbursements okay so this is where it's going these are all numbers we're going to use so you want those then you're also going to look at your uh, document here this is the 1099 miscellaneous from uber you can see from uber and they paid me uh, four thousand eight hundred eighty four dollars then the lift uh, document here is the summary and here again you're going to see the same thing with the expenses the platform fees service fees third-party fees express toll fees tolls so these are all deductions and then um, we're going to get the 1099 this is the k and you can see they paid me 54,000 there and then the miscellaneous they paid me 6,328 all right so we've got all the documents now what else can we deduct besides that well Here's a, a really good article. Um, you can just uh, Google TurboTax rideshare driver deductions, and you'll you'll get this uh, this page here. As you scroll down, you can take a deductions for your car. So numbers you're going to want is how many miles you drove your car for business, and how much you drove your car for personal. Okay, so those are uh, the numbers you're going to need. Uh, nine times out of ten, that's all you need. You're not going to need all the expenses because the deduction that we get as drivers uh, for mileage is so high that um, it, it's almost always a slam dunk. But here it lists some other deductions for rideshare drivers. Your water, gum, snacks for passengers, tolls and parking fees, all right? Um, your mobile phone, right? I use my mobile phone like... 100% for rideshare driving because I, I drive so much and most of my time is in the car. Um, so it's like 90% of my, my phone bill, right? Um, uh, so those are, those are some of the, the main uh, deductions. Now, if you are like me and you might um, have a website where you attract people uh, to it to get referral fees, then all that stuff you spend on the internet um, can also be deducted as well. So I have TurboTax here. I purchased the TurboTax Premier because it has all the bells and whistles. It cost me $60 to download it, and, um, and that's how I got started. Okay, now, uh, this is the first screen you come up with. You just click on Personal Info and hit Continue. 
and it's going to ask you a whole bunch of different questions. So this is all made up information here uh, for somebody named Jeffrey Butler. I didn't want to have any of my personal information in here. Um, and um, uh, you can have them walk you through everything if you like. Um, I'm going to choose what I work on because I just want to focus on a few things here for you guys. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, is go to the section that says income uh, from form 1099 miscellaneous. Okay, so we'll click there. As you can see, I've already put in the numbers for Lyft and for Uber. So this is the information for 1099M, 1099 miscellaneous, right? Lyft and Uber. So then you can click done on that and uh, hit continue. All right, so now that we put in the 1099 miscellaneous, we want to put in the revenue uh, from the 1099K. And to do that, you go to where it says business items. And here it says business income and expenses. So here, here now is where we're going to put it in. I've already put the information in, and this is showing you all the deductions as well. So you would just click on edit, and it's going to ask you for your, a description of what you do. Uh, it'll ask you if you're doing this as yourself or if you have a business set up. I just use my name. No, no tax ID. Here's the, the business code you're going to want to use, 485300. That's for rideshare driving. Cash method. Yes, I played an active role. And then I enter my own information. It asks if you issued any 1099s. No, you did not. Just hit continue here. Okay, now here's where we put in the 1099s miscellaneous. That's already in there. And here, then it says enter business income that's not on a 1099 miscellaneous. And this is where you're going to put in the number from your 1099K. Now, I only had one 1099K, and my total was 54224 Okay, then you just hit continue. You can hit uh, none of the above here. Okay, now we're going to basically uh, do, th do this in three parts. First, we're going to do um, the cart deduction. So this is step number three, which is common deductions. So first is the car. So we're going to go to the car and hit edit. And it's going to ask you to put in the type of car that you've got, how long you've had it, whether you own or lease the car. This is car I leased. I, it'll ask you if you use it for personal use as well. And then um, did you document my work miles? So yes, I did. Okay. So here's what here's this is a very important part now. This is where you're going to put in the total miles you drove. Okay. So in 52 weeks in a year, I'm saying I drove a thousand miles a week total. All right. And out of those miles, 45,000 uh, were driven for business. All right. So that's less than a thousand per week. And basically, I looked at uh, three days at 300 miles a day. So kind of a part-time part-time uh, performance. Uh, but a full day is an easy 300 miles and three days uh, doing that, and that gives you your 45,000 miles. And then you would hit continue and ask you a few other questions, and you can see wow. You got a standard mileage deduction of 26,326. So we had total income of 65,000 and we just deducted 26,000 from that amount. So that's pretty remarkable. And then you can also add some other deductions. If you have work related parking fees, right? So money you spend to park, you know, if you're going to go grab a coffee or um, go use a bathroom in San Francisco, you got to spend a lot of money on, on that. Work-related tolls, okay, getting to work, um, crossing bridges, okay. So now we're done with the car. So we're going to now go to um, all other expenses. All right, so here we've got, um, I said advertising. So I spent about $150 uh, on a month on my uh, internet uh, expenses, um, communication expenses. I spend over $200 a month on my cell phone, so $2,400 just for my cell phone. Supplies. If you do $100 a month in supplies for, you know, water, gum, uh, things you put into your car, like, um, you know, the thing to hold your phone. And then tax or license, okay? If you got anything like that, um, you can put that in. And those are my main, those are pretty much it.
not nothing too crazy. Um, you don't have to be too aggressive to really um, lower your um, your tax bill. And continue again. All right, now it says enter business expenses not yet reported. So these are all the expenses that were listed on that form I showed you. So let me just show you again. So the summary form. So here you see expense fees uh, and tax. Uber service fee, so you can deduct that, 2,402. Um, booking fee, 2,277. Airport, 619. And then we also have the same kind of numbers uh, from Lyft, right? All of these fees here. So that's what we're listing here in this, in this section right here. And you can see I've got them all listed there. And that's a lot of money that we're able to, to take off. And then you would hit continue, continue, and that's it. So those are all of your common deductions and then your Uber and Lyft deductions. Then we go to review, all right? So this is where you wanna check for errors. So this is step number five, is check for errors. And you hit continue and they're going to analyze your return and tell you if you made any, any mistakes. And we did not. So in this case, um, we had six, 65,000 in gross revenue. And out of that, we're paying $757 to Uncle Sam, but we're getting a California refund of $195. So we're paying about $550, so what it comes out to in taxes. So that's good, so there were no errors. If, uh, and then we've checked your return for accuracy, good news. Now we'll check for an audit risk, all right? So look at that. So your audit risk is low. So what you want is that, you want it to say your audit risk is low. If it doesn't say that, um, you might wanna go back and double check your numbers. It'll tell you why your risk is, is high and you might wanna try and fix that. But for most of us, standard you know deductions like I just showed you, um, your audit risk is gonna be pretty low. And it says, great news, there's nothing to worry about. Your audit risk is low, which means you're in good shape, all right? All right, so what are the key takeaways from this experience? First one is we're very fortunate that we get massive deductions for the miles that we drive. As you saw, we were able to really, really pay very little in taxes, primarily due to the fact that we get all those deductions uh, for the miles that we drive. So uh, don't, don't fear getting your taxes done, do it. Uh, TurboTax is a very inexpensive program. You can download it. Um, and do your taxes pretty quick just following the steps I showed you. Everybody, it was great uh, spending some time here with you. If you like the video, give it a like. That'll help us out. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, join our team. Uh, stay current on all the latest news in the rideshare industry. This is Jay Crater saying thank you very much for watching. Y'all go ahead and have a great day and be safe out there.